Hi, I'm Joy. I'm from South Australia. Um, I'm actually, this is my first entry on YouTube. And tonight I sort of, I want to speak a little bit about my 14 years of having an eating disorder. Um, it's probably not exactly the easiest thing. I mean, I find it, I struggle trying to speak to shrinks and, you know, all that sort of thing. And um, I see a lot of things on here that are about, you know, pro Anna, pro Mia and stuff like that. And I haven't seen a lot of things about people that have recovered or that are going through the recovery process. So I want to speak a little bit about that and things that have sort of led up to the events on why I had an eating disorder and sort of how I'm dealing with it now. Um, mine sort of started off um, as a child. Um, growing up, I sort of had it a little bit hard. Um, it's probably been people out there that had a lot tougher than me. Um, my mum used to go out some occasions and I'd be babysat and that's where it all sort of began. So, yeah, I'll sort of start off there. Um, I was sexually abused as a child, as a kid, by my babysitter, which happened and it was ongoing for quite some time. Um, it sort of got worse as I was got older. Um, I have a younger brother and also a younger sister as well. Um, my younger sister wasn't on the scene then. Um, she was still in my mum's belly. <laughs> um, yeah, he was pretty nasty. I always seen him as a pretty strong sort of figure. Um, yeah, very dominating and things like that. Um, but throughout he was always, you know, first time I was blindfolded um, and chocolate frogs and everything. You know, lollies were involved and you'd hide them and I'd have to, you know, go around and try and find them and then that's when the sexual abuse and things sort of started going. Um, the sexual abuse got a lot heavier when it came to intercourse. Um, I hate the word rape. I just, just... Um, yeah, things got a little bit worse and we used to make cubby houses using my mum's clothesline and blankets and all that pillows and cushions and stuff. It was really fun, really cool. Um, where my brother and I would sit here and play with Barbies and Tonka trucks and... And things like that. Sorry, I thought someone was here. Um, yeah, and that sort of changed my world a bit. You know, I already felt guilty about things that were happening to me and the threats that were put onto me. But when the things started in involving my sibling, were a total different level. Um, from there on, I sort of found males a very difficult thing to get along with. I found it very hard to trust them or even see them as a role model in any way, shape, or form. Um, my mum started dating um, some men. She ended up getting married once. Um, a lot of them were fairly violent or um, pretty nasty, could be pretty nasty people. <coughs> my mum was sort of a little bit different. So she was very young when she had me. She was 15 or 16. So she was a kid too, looking after. My brother and sister came along. Um, found things pretty hard to cope with over over that time. I was always very angry. Um, I could say I was probably a pretty violent kid. Um, I used to throw things at my mum, like knives and couches, and I mean couches are a pretty big thing for a kid to be throwing up and throwing and especially your parents, like, wrong. Um, yeah, so as I, as I got older, um, because of the way that lollies were always involved in the sexual abuse. Um, I think I've always sort of developed food a lot. I developed a hate for the food. Um, yeah, I sort of didn't want too much to do with food whatsoever. It was more of a punishment to me. Food's always been more of a punishment for me. I've um, never really enjoyed it. Um, I have to admit, I still don't totally enjoy it, but I do eat it, you know, because I know I have. Um, yeah, 
my mum ended up meeting a fella and they got married and we moved to a place called Sujina, which is also in South Australia. It's a really cool place, so much fun. Um, yeah, where she was married, um, she, my sister came along and she was really cute, nice and um, And he was fairly violent, he was never home. He was having an affair and my mum up a bit, she was kind of not weak, still trying to discover herself and I think she found great with them because of things like that um, I think it sort of reflected on me and knowing that we weren't all happy um, also we used to get a lot of break-ins and things like that because he used to be around drugs constantly um, I mean nothing too hardcore or anything like that but enough that people will intrude in your own home um, one night we had a rock thrown through our window as a kid and at the time when my mum was pregnant with my sister at the time um, a rock, a plant pot, sorry, was thrown to a gut. Um, when I was born, I was born with a problem in my bladder so I could never tell when I needed to go to the toilet and things like that. So when I went to school I was constantly and constantly <coughs> teased about it. Um, Yes, I was. I found that really hard. I barely had any friends. I had like two friends in school, which I mean, I know now that's all you need is two good friends. Um, but that made it really hard. I used to get chased home from school and like picked on and things like that. And even my stepfather at the time used to pick on me, and you know, used to say that you know, really nasty things to me, which I struggled with a lot. It sort of lost my self-esteem pretty quickly. Um, yeah, trying to deal with the things that I had to see, like having, you know, people bash in my front yard and sometimes, you know, like you watch, you know, my mother wash blood off clothing and things like that. And yeah, so I think back then that's when I really